Hello, I'm Elle and welcome to my channel. As you saw by the title, today will be a thrift haul. I'm really excited about this one. I have been shopping a lot because I actually work at a thrift store, so it's really easy to find a lot of goodies and I get 50% off. It's just a bunch of stuff that I really want to show and also explain why I bought it and what it'll be used for. So stay tuned for the rest of the video and let's get started. I have this huge box full of stuff. I'm not proud, but it is all things that I bought with the intentionality of like using and keeping and if I no longer want them then I'll just like redonate it back to, back to work. So 50% off is really tempting and it does delve into like overconsumption. So I I really need to like stop buying things. That's basically what I'm saying. I just want to start this thrift haul with like books. I have a collection of books here in my room and I just love reading. And so I've been really getting into art. You can tell there's like really cool like art pieces here that they show so yeah i'm really excited about this book it cost me literally like 50 cents they were half off the books were half off this is a good good little find and then this one is the secret of wonder woman it actually taught touches on the history of how wonder woman actually came to be about how it came to be about or how she came to be about be about oh wow they even painted Wonder Woman within the cover of the book. That's so cool. I didn't even notice. That must have been a big fan. But basically, it's so surprising how uh, Wonder Woman has like ties to the suffrage campaigns within the 1900s and like how it touches on feminism. So I'm really curious to read this book in a like social justice lens versus anything else. So I'm excited about this book so these are just like note cards that i can write on they're blank on the other side of this decoration they're just a couple of lines here this was originally 14 dollars, and i bought it for a dollar at the thrift store get yourself some note cards and if you're studying it doesn't hurt to be aesthetic about it i bought these cute moon earrings they're so cool they got the stars the moon basically you get the vibe they're like moon faces earring cost me a dollar I have three ear piercings here, so I can just like wear one set. And then I bought another like phase earrings. They're super cute. They're almost like the same other vibe as the other ones. They're all transitioning over into each other. I'm excited to wear this on this side. So, so then it also costs a dollar. I don't know the brand. I um so live in Montana and it gets really cold here. It doesn't matter if it's spring or whatever. Like it's just chilly. Like it just gets to you. So what I need is like really warm socks. And so what I got were these Fox River cotton socks that are meant for like hiking and camping. They're kind of like uh rough on your skin. My feet get really cold all, all of a sudden. So I know that these are gonna be great. And I bought them for like two dollars or something like that i don't know exactly the price we'll see if it actually keeps me warm i also got a cute mushroom poster that's just the most aesthetic thing ever and i was like oh i need it so i'm gonna hang this up somewhere in my room i don't really know where i think i just spotted a good place i'm excited about this i think they charged me a dollar for it it's a little bit worn you can tell it's been used despite how it's ripped compared to the cost of posters in like bookstores and like just stores in general one dollar for a poster is like such a steal so i also got this bkr bottle this is my favorite color and i love how cute and versatile it is i'm thinking of heating up my like tea that i need and then like putting it in this one the thing is glass so i think it's gonna last me a long while and the and the cover is silicone like plastic and it's like the perfect size for my tea so i'm gonna go visit family for my birthday and they're based in chicago and my older brother loves pokemon cards and so i saw these stack come in at the thrift store and they're just like the most amazing collection these are like the shiny cards that everyone like wants to collect my brother would love these he's like always collected pokemon cards his whole life so i bought them for a dollar these usually retail for a lot more. Um, going to the next thing, I found this really cool like botanical steam facial product. It opens up your pores and it has like calendula, lavender, rose petals, elderberry, cornflowers, peppermint, lemon, verbena, orange peel powder. So I'm really excited to use this. I don't really like do a lot of facial stuff. I'm not really focused on my face. I've only focused on like 
mental or like intellectual self-care but i've never been like oh let me actually prepare water for this like botanical steam and i don't know how much they charged me my boss probably did like two or three dollars on it it's pretty good deal it's good to try okay so getting into the clothing i got a bunch of like gram ma grandpa vibes going on <laughs> there is this guy that donated his beautiful jeans and they're so vintage and one of them are these the brand the territory ahead and you can tell they're tweed material and they're like clearly grandpa vibes like look at that but i really like the idea of like having it be high waist like this and then like cut them at the end so they're kind of like wide legged because these are clearly huge on me and like this is perfect for my waist and i could always like cinch it cinch, cinch it cinch it like a belt or something or even a rope i think it'll be an aesthetic but yeah these cost me like two dollars this one i got for 25 cents it basically says yellowstone national park and it has a cute little bear mountain forest moment going on i love the teal it's by the brand gilded you can tell they dyed it the color that it is right now because the the tags are the same color as this you can tell too they just like ripped the fabric to make a crop top and then it just kind of curled into itself and they made it super cute and this would have retailed for 50 cents so i got it for 25 cents with a discount this shirt probably would have been thrown away it has a lot of pilling on it it's really worn but I really love this color. This is my favorite color. So I'm thinking of maybe cropping it because it is super long. Probably would have been in the 50 cent pile or even thrown away because it is kind of old. This one is so fun. This is perfect for like a party it's by the brand Ow. AU. W. It's a size small, but it's stretchable. And I always like finding flower pieces. I think it will be more likely I'll keep them and wear them if they are flower pieces. I just kind of love the details on this one. Like, look at the little sleeves here and the little cinching. And there's multiple cinch moments at the waist. And I always look for that as well, just because I have a very short torso. So it's always good to accentuate the, the torso slash like waist area so that my body is not swallowed in the shirt and it cost me a dollar fifty and then this one it's a wild fable very cute trendy shirt even though it kind of looks like a pajama it's very like low-key and chill but i love the flower patterns on it it's just the most cute little detail and this cost me a dollar fifty this one also costs a dollar fifty and it's just like a very vintage cj banks shirt and it was cropped by someone i just need to be courageous in cropping my own stuff because clothing is just cute or cropped for me and also works with my torso so i'm starting to get courage in doing that for myself and my clothing but i love the purple i love the color scheme i do see myself keeping this i definitely need to wash the clothing because it reeks of someone else Ugh. yeah the only thing i have to say is that fine clothing that you think you'll hold on to for a long time and that's kind of like my advice if you don't see yourself holding on to it and taking care of it you probably shouldn't buy it and i bought another shirt it's called basic editions it's like the old walmart brand my mom used to buy a lot from that in like the 90s and 2000s but it's no longer like out there or haven't seen it at least and it's also crap and i really like it it's very basic i probably will wear it out on a random day for errands or whatever like not a huge staple piece or anything but those are the basics that you always need so i like the color scheme as well and i think it'll be easy to wash because most of the things that i own are in that color and then i got this like wool ridge jacket it has this really cool like fuzzy neck feature that i think will keep me warm during the cold winds and i love the color it's really one of my favorite colors besides purple for clothing and it's not fuzzy on the inside it cost me like three dollars in total it's a hundred no 59 percent cotton 20 pot 29 percent acrylic so yeah i really love it and it's almost like crop top it's a very short torso vibe so i think i'm gonna enjoy it a lot and it's gonna keep me warm i can tell it it keeps you warm even though it's really lightweight i fell in love with these pants these are from that same grandpa they're the brand buzz off and it's insect repellent apparel from ex officio oh my gosh have you ever seen that before but i love the way it kind of fades you can tell it was folded 
for so long and it just lost its color and i'm thinking about having it be like dad moment i know you can't tell right now that well like what it would look like but the legs are super long and i'm just gonna cut them i know you can't really tell but i love how like wide this is and then they're a little bit too long so i'm gonna have to like cut them and i like that like fringe like fray ends so i think having this like super cinched in at the waist which you can do see you can pull it right here yeah you can pull it right there and it just cinches even more so that's going to be such a cool retro look and then uh look at the back it's just so weird i like fell in love with these pants i got them for two dollars and fifty cents and i just like unique pieces i think that's what really matters to me at the end of the day like i don't want basic pieces i don't want things that look the same or that everyone else is wearing i want things that are unique i want things that make people feel good and just like give you compliments like for example this shirt was going to be thrown away because it has a huge stain at the bottom and it's like really bad on top and just looks like a different color but i can cut this and i'll start fraying like this one that was intentionally designed to fray over here but i mean i can always crop it too like where the stain is at i can crop it from there and that will get rid of the stain and i love the rose detail on here i think it's really cool and really pretty i think it'll be a standout piece to anyone they'll be like oh i like your sweater you know and they're gonna throw it away and i got it all of the trash and i was like i want it i don't care if it has a stain i can like crop it or embroider it like you have to get creative i got another pair of green jeans these are the brand liverpool and you can tell they're gonna fit me really well and i love the little pocket feature like look at the way they sewed this pocket it's really unique and then i love the little line details here and then in the back they're like really simple there's nothing in the back of them which i really like because if there's too much going on in the back of the jeans i don't know make me self conscious and yeah i think they're gonna last me a long time and they're stretchy <laughs> i just realized that and that one cost me two dollars and fifty cents so i got this shein top that i got for 25 cents because in my local thrift store all the shein stuff is going into the 50 cent bin because it's just so like bad quality and we know it's gonna just like fall apart the second that you wear it and so you would just want to encourage people to have the opportunity to buy these very low quality clo clothing versus just throwing it away or like overpricing it knowing that it's such bad quality and so i saw this and i was like this is definitely shein and this is definitely like instagram covid aesthetics um but i actually really liked it i never tried this trend i think i can like pair it with like some other colorful colors i can put it under or over things i've seen that a lot so i think having like a really stable piece too to like really unique pieces it's going to be a good balance of like unique and staple unique and staple like i don't like super loud outfits so i think this will be the like grounding point to like the stable piece of an outfit and then yeah that's kind of it i try not to buy a lot, buy a lot of things i always try to just like simplify and use what i already own but it is hard to not buy anything when you're so tempted by a constant fluctuation of things. And I work at my local thrift store where people are constantly like donating and I'm constantly being exposed to it for like my entire eight hour shift. And I'm like, how do I leave this behind? Like, how do I say no? And so te the temptation is there even for the best of us, even if you don't want to shop, even if you don't have the budget for it, you're like, I need these pieces. Like I'll never see these pieces again. And so it kind of feels like, and for, for me at least, when I leave behind these pieces, I'm just like, I left such cool like outfits behind that could have inspired people to be more focused on like their personal aesthetic or the personal style and this sounds kind of weird like oh i have to make cool outfits to make other people feel like they can make cool outfits but it feeds into like materialism and overconsumption which is something that i'm still working on but the point is it's like i want people to get excited about fashion i want people to care about their clothing i want people to buy at thrift stores and i always say my clothing is from thrift stores and it's just like such a shame that i have to leave really unique one-of-a-kind pieces because i don't want to overconsume. so it's kind of that balance that i need to manage so i have to like think will i really be able to take care of it will i really provide it justice because it needs to be worn it wants to be worn that's it's like 
sole purpose in a way um and what actually create like the aesthetic and like self sense of identity that i have does it resonate with me on a very like philosophical and like more level like what am i saying about myself to society so those are, those are the kind of things that i'm just kind of thinking about so i hope this video like helps promote the idea that yes thrift store hauls and just thrift store shopping can contribute to overconsumption but if there's like deep reasoning and deep intentionality to it it can actually help you foster what you care about which is like sustainability habits and like cool outfits and obtaining unique one-of-a-kind pieces that will help you become more of who you are so yeah i hope this video inspired you if you're still watching feel free to subscribe and i have a blog where i talk more about ethical fashion so feel free to stalk me all the links are in my description and i'll see you in the next video peace and love bye